Are you guys ready for an update on our Carolina Reaper pepper grow? I know I sure am, but first let's recap. So first we soaked our seeds in black tea, just like the site told us to do. And we did that for 30 minutes. Then we went ahead and took our seeds and planted them in our potting soil. We planted them about an eighth of an inch deep, just under the soil level so that when they started germinating, those little seeds didn't have to fight too much to get the leaves up over the top. That was November 24th. In just four days, we started seeing little sprouts just popping through the soil level. About six days after that, on December 5th, the majority of the seedlings had already germinated. Within just a few days of these guys all germinating, I went ahead and took the lid off. Then I removed the bottom heat out from under them, and then I raised the light up and turned it up all the way because I wanted to keep the inside of that tent warm so that those little seedlings would have plenty of warmth and light to grow on really nicely. Now, if you haven't seen that first video, I'll put a link in the description below. You can go check it out now. But this is where we've arrived at on December 27th. And these little guys are growing absolutely beautifully. The odd thing is I did notice that a lot of the tops of these are starting to turn a darker color. And I've seen that out in my garden in the hottest part of summer on some of my other pepper plants that I've grown through the years, but I've never done this indoors before. And so it was a little bit odd to see here. I did notice that it started when I cranked that light intensity up. And I kind of feel like the reason for that happening is because the intensity of the light is so bright. If you guys have any thoughts on that, put a comment down below and let me know. Now, as far as watering and fertilizer goes, I've been just using a weak solution of miracle Grow. I've been taking a 10 milliliter syringe and just squirting it on each individual cell over the last week and a half. I've been doing that about once every other day, occasionally using just plain water so that I don't over fertilize these guys. And you can see it's time. They are getting big. The roots are starting to fill out in the little cells and it's time to get these guys potted up into something bigger. So there they are, all of our little peppers all potted up and they're just gonna be ready to grow on. They've got tons of room in their new little cups with lots of potting soil. I went ahead and fertilized them with some weak miracle growth solution just to give them a nice little start. And we're just gonna leave them alone now. We'll let that water soak into the cups there and just see how these guys do. Now, they're right back in their grow tent. We've got them under the lights. And by the way, if you guys want to see the unboxing of this Vipar Spectra XS Series Grow Light, in this Mars Hydro Grow Tent, then just check out the links in the description and you'll see exactly what we're growing these guys in. But I am super impressed with this tent and this grow light setup so far. I'm excited about it. Doesn't use too much power and it's gonna be beautiful for growing these peppers on. Now, we've got all these guys sitting in here growing beautifully. Today is December 27th and so it's been, what was it? 11 24 november 24th when we started this whole thing and they're already growing into beautiful little pepper plants the only thing i'm considering doing now is turning down the light it is very very bright in here and that light is just kicking butt in this little grow tent it's really neat to see and i mean it's just a massive amount of bright light that will grow anything that you want to grow but it is bright and at this point i've got it raised up about three foot in here from the tops of the plant so i could lower the the intensity down with that knob here i'll show you real quick we've got this little knob to adjust the intensity here and there I can turn it down. I could lower it down all the way on top of these guys. But I wanted to turn it up so that we could get the heat up in this tent. And it's done just that. It's kept it up somewhere in the 80s. And that's what these peppers need to grow. 80 some degree temps. Nice and warm. Nice and bright. So let me know what you guys think. Because, you know, I, I, like I said, I've got those tops that are just kind of... They're real healthy looking. I mean, really healthy looking. But... They're turning that darker color. And then we've got these green ones here. Let me crank this light back up so you can see it a little bit better. Man, that thing is bright. We've got these dark leaves here. You see that? There's some with some dark leaves. 
and there's greener leaves and then darker leaves. And I think it's just a variation in the genetics because these were all started from seed. And so you're gonna get different phenotypes from each of these seeds. But I wonder if the light intensity isn't doing that. But then, you know, the question is, why isn't it doing to these green ones here? So they all look real healthy. Everything's looking great. Just kind of interesting, the different color patterns that are going on with these different peppers. We've got everything separated out and labeled the way we had before. We've got all our reapers on this side, our ghost peppers on this side. Let's give it a little more time. Today's December 27th. Let's see what these guys do within the next week or two. Here we go. So it has been nine days since we potted these little guys up and they are growing beautifully as you can see. Today is January 1st and these guys are putting on a lot of size. I'm pretty happy with how things have turned out. In that last little clip I showed you those darkened leaves and you can see the same pepper plants still have those little bit of darker leaves. That one back there in the back as well. But the ones that had the green leaves are still really nice and bright green. I just think it's variation in genetics because these all came from seed. But they're absolutely beautiful. And look at how much size these little things have put on. And they're growing really healthy. Let's take a good look at some of these roots here. Look at this. They're just pushing out the sides of the cup. Get it in the light there for you. Look at that beautiful little reaper pepper and all those roots, man. These guys are doing really, really well. Now, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with all of these reaper peppers here because I can't grow them all in this little tent. I mean, I suppose I could. I could probably, if I put them all in one gallon pots, I could fill them all in here, but they're just gonna bush out and overcrowd and some are gonna grow bigger than others and just shadow out the others and we're just not gonna get enough good growth on every single one of these plants. So we're gonna have to do something with them. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet, but we'll figure it out. I think in the end, what I've decided is I'm gonna have two ghost peppers and two reaper peppers in maybe two or three gallon pots. So we've got four plants in here total and we can just grow them out into big bushy plants. Each plant will have a little over one square foot in this tent here. And I think that will be enough room to really just allow them to grow up into beautiful, healthy pepper plants and then produce some really nice peppers for us. But look at that. These guys are off to a really fantastic start. And I think that's all I got to show you guys for now. So we're going to give it a little more time. I'll figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of these guys. We'll get those four potted up. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to follow along and see where these guys turn out. How they turn out. Have a fantastic week. And I'll see you in the next video. Adios.